Wow. Um, what are you eating? I'm eating a, I'm eating a Thai coconut bowl, coconut curry bowl. Nice. Nice. Who knew? Um, I thought all, I thought all they had in Chicago was um, deep dish pizza and hoagies. That's I thought that's the only thing people could eat out here. Do you know when I was like a kid, I used to think that deep dish pizzas were for sitting in. Mm, no, that's crazy. Why? Why did you? It's think not that? that. It's not that I thought that they were for sitting in, but when I would think about a deep dish pizza, I would want to sit in it. Yeah, I always yeah. really wanted to. Um, I wanted to go into a uh, swimming pool full of Jello. Yeah. This this uh, um, this episode is going to sound like we recorded it on the third day of quarantine. Like it's going to the quality of this episode is going to sound like, you know, when we were still calling it Corona. You know, it's probably going to sound more even though, as far as levels. So there's always that. It'll be poor sound quality, but it'll be more leveled. I just had a very scary thought. What's that? What if the Delta variant is just a whole new disease? And like uh, the the virus isn't work like the the vaccines aren't working because it's a brand new disease. And now we have to come up with a new vaccine. And then we just get stuck in this like cycle, cycle. of like mutating viruses until somebody just goes, "Hey, Maybe we're all supposed to die. I was actually going to surprise you with that information at the end of the episode. That's kind oh. of a something to look through forward to the weekend. Real quick, before we move on, everybody should know this. We are doing a Zoom episode because Andy, that's me, is in Chicago getting ready for his album all weekend at Zany's. Going to have a great yep. time. Going to meet, going to meet, um, Luca, in the face, in the flesh. In the, I'm gonna meet you in the face. I'm gonna meet him in the face. I'm gonna kiss his mouth, and then mm -hmm. um, Rosebud is trapped in our apartment, which is completely packed up. Like I don't think there's a single thing that isn't packed. You can see the no, pile of stuff behind her. Mm -hmm. um, other side note: as I was cooking this, I'm so fatigued that I dropped the entire thing on the counter. Like it just spilled the whole bowl onto the counter. And I'm so tired that I just picked it up with both hands and put it back in the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> You've had how many hours like of sleep? There. Three? Three hours of sleep. And we slept on the floor last night. Well, on the mattress on the floor. Yeah, mattress on the floor. That's that's the way we're living right now. Ah. Like a bunch of New York artists, you know? Like we're bohemians. That's like cute were you when ever, you're in your 20s. Were you ever a mattress on the floor person? No. I've always loved to like have an adult looking apartment. Like I've, I've like, never I not had, had um, like this was the first time I, this apartment was the first time I ever didn't have um, a headboard for my bed. I, uh, in my apartment in college, I had this big ass apartment and I had a big bedroom that was carpeted, like wall to wall carpeting. Mm -hmm. And I, I put my mattress on the floor on that and it was great. It was like I was in one big soft room, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, this has been, um, this week, has probably been the most stressful week I've had in, um, I can't really remember when. Well, probably, you know what? The week that we uh, lost heat and hot water, had a miscarriage and I got a, a debilitating yeast infection. That was probably the worst. That was probably the worst, most stressful week of my life. But this is a close second of my life I mean, this year. But like, it is, it's been pretty stressful. I'm not uh, gonna lie. I. I have a little bit of a type A personality when it comes to my home. And uh, 
our home. It's our home. But yes, it's our home. I apologize. And you know, sometimes I can be a little bit. Andy just walked off frame. He just left. Just so you guys know, he just walked away from the Zoom. I had some extra sauce. Oh. Okay. Keep going. Um, You're a little type A. I'm a little type A when it comes to my home and controlling, which is why I say my home, you know, like I get very controlling about it. And you've been very helpful. Um, you were like, I know you felt bad that you were going to have to leave, or at least you said you were feeling bad that you were going to have to leave. Um, mm -hmm. And so you helped me by hiring someone to help me pack. And by yes. dissembling the bed last night. And, uh, you know, Carly, stop. Yeah, you you did a really good job of packing, um, except you packed all the cleaning supplies. Yeah, that was the stupidest thing. Actually, that wasn't me. That was the person you hired, FYI. We can say his name. Let's, let's fucking, let's fucking call him, him out. Matt Pavich. Matt Pavich? Way to go. You're a great Johnny. actor. You're a great comedian. You're recording an album August 15th at the New York Comedy Club. But you know what? I wouldn't I wouldn't put Papper on your business card. No, I'd, I'd leave that off. I'd, I'd get a little more experience before you start doing that, buddy. Um, no, he was great. I love Matt. Um, he's one of my favorite people in New York, actually. He's such a unique character um the croatian sensation but uh, we were talking me and him were talking because matt's matt's bipolar and he was talking about how uh like watching joe rogan tell kanye that he's not he doesn't think he's bipolar was like the craziest thing <laughs> <laughs> he was like i was watching that episode and rogan's like i don't think you're bipolar man and kanye's like yeah not <laughs> <laughs> that's a dangerous thing for, whole... for some reason um an entire generation of people has decided to get their medical advice from joe rogan yeah which i don't think is a good idea i'm gonna be honest you know that's a pretty edgy opinion you sure you want to go there? Yes. Sorry. I uh I don't I don't hold back. I'll tell it like it is. I don't think uh Joe Rogan's a medical medical professional. Um and I don't think that Matt Pavich is a professional mover. I'll say it. You want me to I'll blow somebody else up. I'll go after anybody. <laughs> All right. Go after me. What do you think? Uh, you got, um, right now you kind of have a, like, uh, mother in Richmond, Virginia look going on. Like you got kind mm. of like, it's a little punk rock. Like you look like, you know, you're very pretty. You're beautiful. I'm not, I'm not trying to, I, I honestly, but with the no uh -huh. sleeves and the, t and the tat showing, and then you kind of, I love what your hair is doing now. Cause it's kind of like uh -huh. your bangs are like kind of moving into your they're not as like succinct you just you kind of have a real vibey vibe right now you look real great um wow you just tore and me also apart. also you're a control freak <laughs> whoa whoa yeah. Fucking I'll say pump it. the brakes buddy wow how long have you been holding all that hate in Quite a while, actually. I'm pretty, I'm pretty upset <laughs> about how darn I'm, cute you are. I'm so dehydrated that this morning I, it took me, I had to get dish soap to take my fucking wedding ring off because it was cutting off circulation to the rest of my fucking hands. Yeah, I, I bought you water all week and you have not touched it. You keep on just like taking a sip and then letting it go. Routine. I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna get some. Hang on. Rose, Rosebud left the screen, you guys. All I can see now. If you're watching 
if you're watching the YouTube video, all you could see in that moment was in a room full of stuff. All right. This is like, so. Well, go for it. We should probably talk about something. We should probably talk about what's going on this week. We're moving. There's that. Andy, we've been the talking Delta about variants. that. The Delta variant's back. But here's my question. There's a new do you Kanye think album. I mean, obviously, the Delta variant is um, uh, a, obviously, it's part of COVID. But what if it is a whole new pandemic, you know? And then, like, at that point, do we stop? Do we just, as a society, do we come together and say, you know, we've had a really good run. We've come a long way. A couple of us have made it to space. And um, we almost beat Earth. We almost beat we all- the planet Earth. Yeah, but do we just retire is what I'm saying. Do we just say, fuck it. You know, the world is like, we are burning. There's there's fires. There's, uh, is it time to just call it a day? Excuse me. I think, I think that we're going... I think we're going to backslide a little bit as far as openness goes, which is a huge bummer. I'm very, I'm, I'm, a, I'm upset. Um, I think a lot of places will just ignore it and let it run its course. They'll just go, uh, we did that. And here we are again. We're not doing this, but um, I don't think it's a new, I don't think it's a new virus. I mean, like they know what it does. It's just Corona, but it's more contagious and there's more viral load when you get it. Which always turns me on, hearing that. Yeah, I'm I'm about to shoot a load that goes viral. If you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. I I've, I've got mm-hmm. herpes. You like <laughs> I filmed myself jerking off. Um, yeah, it's a it's it's gonna be like a fail video. I I jerk I I try to jerk off, but then I fall down and I break my dick. No.